Uh, let's crack uh, 12 packs, of course, of the frozen caskets. I don't really know long term how many packs I want to crack of this set because the supply is really infinite at dollar a pack these days. Uh, but um, yeah, you know, I don't really know. Um, what, what happens when somebody presents you with a $35 booster box? Yeah, so that's that's on the side and it's printed. It's not like a little sticker or anything. I love these boxes, by the way. Oh my God, they're so beautiful. And um, yeah, it comes with a nice, uh, a nice little insert, like a comic book almost. Very beautiful. So nice. And then of course a little box topper art. Uh, of course that you can use to like uh, put it in the back. I'm not gonna do that, but. So I'm just going to pick in, gonna dig in, and dig out 12 packs, and I'm going to crack them right here. Curse of the Frozen Casket. There's an infinite supply of these. Uh, it looks like the uh, pre-releases didn't go so well, because I've seen a listing, I've seen a, a listing in eBay for pre-release kits, and it looks like they have really a mountain of them. Now, I wish I could crack them all, but uh, I don't really have that kind of money, so I'm just going to crack a few, crack enough to uh, have some fun build, uh, limited builds, and call it a day, and then move over to uh, a little magic later on next month. Next month meaning May, because I'm already thinking like April has already started, even though it really hasn't. So I really like this set. It's got a lot of fairy tales. Uh, I think there's a nice uh, Grim, you know, CMF Grim build with a bunch of fairy tales, and it will get all. Well, there's every cluster has fairy tales, but I really like uh, the way fairy tales were done in uh, Curse of the Frozen Casket. That's the. Uh, let's see, where do I put it? Right. Let me put it right there. And I'm gonna put that right there. Okay. And yeah, it's better to crack these with scissors. I have found. Incredibly enough, zero, the one which is one of the rulers in this set, uh, there are none on T in TCG player, which doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know anything about force of will, I guess, uh, or anything about anything because. It would stand to reason that a pack that is so cheap that all the rulers should be available in TCG Player in very large quantities. Uh, but that happens to be not the case. Prisha from Return of the Dragon Emperor and Zero from CFC. This is like Bird of Paradise and Magic. Uh, oh, cool. Great pull. Very nice pull. Uh, are not, yeah, which I, I, I find that to be, I think that's just wild. Makes absolutely no sense to me at all. No sense whatsoever to me. Oh, oh, that's right, I forgot, of course. What, how could I forget the most important thing? We're going to do a dual stones count in these packs. I already pulled a foil of one of them. I don't believe I have this exact foil. I have the card, but not uh, not the foil. So yeah, um, I think the last time that I cracked 36 packs of uh, Curse of the Frozen Casket, I don't remember if it was a whole booster box or it was just 36 loose packs. I think I, I was doing like four or five dual stones. So we already cracked the first one, that's nice. I mean, of course, it's force of will, it doesn't really matter. This is not like opening revised in magic and cracking duels. It's not at all like that, I mean, you're cracking 50 cent cards. Uh, but I still have fun cracking them, and I still really, I like the fact that force of will copied that from magic. You know, good artists borrow, great artists steal kind of thing. Uh, I like that. I do like that. 
and I've wanted for a long time to just buy three, four booster boxes of uh, Curse of the Frozen Casket and crack them all. Uh, not, this is not for now. I'm only really going to crack this one box. And the second box that I ordered, I'm just going to keep uh, for later, just because I want to. Uh, but um, I still think if I can pull it off this year, I, I would like to crack three or four more boxes and just have a bunch of these duels out of Curse of the Frozen Casket. I know that they have been reprinted and they're super common, you know, nothing to see here. Uh, but then there's something to see here, and that's the second one. Uh, so why not? If you can do it, do it. And uh, beauties in the eye of the beholder. Oh, yeah, that was a double, double, double coming again. Well, interesting. Second time that it happens to me today, and it's never happened to me before. For the force of will. Um, I think it's important in life to enjoy something regardless of monetary value. I don't particularly care that these cards are not highly sought after. I love these cards, and I'm going to build decks with them. And have fun. Have fun. Great pull. And I like the base rarity of this card. Because I believe that I was pulling, when I was pulling it last time, they all came out the really pretty ones. They're nice for collecting, but for putting in decks, I really, I, I, I much rather put in uh, base rarity. Oh, really nice. Nice foil. Very cool. That's what I would rather do. Put your number target fairy tale resonators from your graveyard on top of your deck in any order. Nice. That's really nice. Definitely want to build a grim fairy tale deck out of all these uh, three clusters. All the cards that I'm pulling for all three clusters. There's a fairy tale. And there is the stone. Beautiful artwork, man. Just mind blowing artwork. And for as long as these packs continue to be cheap, I would like to crack a whole boatload of them. Tap it for three, draw a card. That's nice. I like that. And I have built, I built, I tried to build a Grim only cube once. That didn't work. Uh, the Alice only cube definitely worked because I could build a battle box from deck lists that I found. I built that. I was working on a Grim, I'm mean, sorry, on a Lapis only uh, cube. And I dropped that. I, I just gave up on it. And I forget why. Maybe I got busy with magic or something. Um, but this time around, the idea for this year is a cube of all three combined. And uh, do some limited builds. Um, see where that take us. takes us. I already had enough cards for Alice to do a Dark Alice build, uh, cluster only. Uh, don't quite have enough cards from the Grim Packs to do that, so that, that'll have to wait. So I think the next limited uh, cluster only build that I'll do is one for Lapis. Beautiful foil rare. I think I've got four packs left four packs yeah Let's 
see what's in the back. Nice foil. Rare. And then just a regular stone. We've already pulled two of the special duels. I like that. Beautiful artwork. Enter the field, draw a card. Love it. Bunnies. And the same rare that was foil. Nice. Very nice. Okay, three more packs left. Foil Uncommon, regular stone. Foil's always in the front for these packs. Same order as last pack of these two cards. pack. Same card that I just pulled and regular stone. pack. Tap it for three, draw a card. Like that a lot. The bunny again. Another bird. Nice secret rare. And a stone. And I think that was it. So let's do a little recap. So we pulled uh, two dual stones out of 12 packs. So one in every six packs would mean six out of the box. We'll find out. Uh, no rulers out of these 12 packs. Three of this card, yeah. Several of this one. Love the artwork for that one. Yeah, some nice pulls, 12 packs. We put in with uh, 12 packs of Echoes and 6 packs of Legacy Lost and 12 packs of Return of the Dragon Emperor for my first, I'll try a first limited build 
uh, lapis only with all those packs.